everybody, welcome back. Tom, the old prockhead, back once again with another reaction. And tonight, we are jumping back into a band that I really enjoyed the first time I listened to them, and that is Opeth. We're going to do some Opeth again. Uh, now, I have been advised that the very first song I did is kind of on the much more mellow side for Opeth, that they get really kind of nasty and medley and growly and things of that nature, and so we're going to try a different song tonight from Opeth, because I really did enjoy the first one. Uh, that was song was called Window Pane, and you can uh, go to the channel and then check out the, uh, that video there and see what you think about Opeth there with uh, that song. Uh, but we are going to do a song tonight from Opeth called Blackwater Park. That's the name of the song, and it's also the name of their album from 2021, so last just year. Or it might be a remastered edition of an album. I don't see the album listed earlier, uh, but it does say 20th Anniversary Edition here, so uh, where I'm looking here. So I'm not sure if this is an album, an original album for 2021, or it's just a remaster. Uh, if I'm sure somebody knows out there, please. I'm sure you'll clue me in. Please do. Uh, speaking of that, please comment down below any other songs from Opeth that I should check out or any similar group that I should check out. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell uh, so you know when I uh, release other videos. But here we go. Uh, this is Blackwater Park from Opeth, and let's jump right into it and see what we think. Well, that's definitely harder right off the bat. Cheers. Very interesting chord progression there. Very tension creating chord progression. acoustic break. Nice guitar there.
some really interesting changes in there. It's interesting how it went from such heavy parts with the growling and everything to this kind of more tender stuff. Almost a little lost in the mix, but it was almost doing rolls on the kick. Just
Back to the acoustic again. Briefly. This is beautiful. Nice. Just take it out nice and gently. All right, Opeth. All right, so that is the uh, the harder side of Opeth that uh, folks had told me about. Um, I was definitely kind of prepared for uh, that harder side and the uh, some of the growling and stuff in the vocals, which um, I got to be honest, I, I mean, I probably liked the first song I did better, and that was much more on the softer side. Uh, musically, I, it was fantastic. Uh, just I, I, The growling is really not my thing as much. Um, I mean, if it's if it's put in there for emphasis from time to time, it's one thing. But to do it pretty much through the whole song, not sure if it's my favorite thing. Uh, but I did like the song in general, especially especially the music. Um, the I had this. I kept thinking <laughs> throughout the song when with this growling that um, it reminded me when I was. Uh, I don't know if you ever been in the, anybody's ever been in the jungle and experienced howler monkeys. <laughs> That's a kind of a terrifying sound at, part, at at certain spots there. It sounded like almost like a howler monkey, but uh, uh, but no, I enjoyed the song, and I would definitely check out, continue to check out some more Opeth uh, because I did like that first song I did so much, and and this was good. Uh, I did again. I liked the progressions and the little changes and stuff, uh, the, going from the really hard parts to some of the softer acoustic moments in it. Uh, and but uh, good tune. And I will definitely definitely continue to check out more Opeth. Uh, recommend some more songs uh, from Opeth that um, maybe have. Is there any that have maybe just a little bit of the growling, you know, like not throughout the whole song, uh, or some that don't? Uh, what are some good tunes on the kind of the more proggy side of them that uh, without that? But uh, anyway, um, good stuff from Opeth. Enjoyed it, and definitely going to check more of them out. So please again like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. And hit that notification bell. But uh, as always, appreciate you stopping by. I can't do all this uh, without you. The reason I'm doing it is because uh, people want to enjoy and be along this journey with me, and I'm enjoying that very much. And it's uh, it's it's just been a fantastic ride so far, and uh, really loving it. So uh, thanks once again for stopping by, and uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up soon, more reactions coming. And as always, got to wrap up saying thank you to active military veterans, first responders. Thank you so much for your service. Appreciate everything you do for us. And the only rule you need is the golden rule. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Peace.